Here we are in our QuickBooks test company file. We started up in a prior presentation. Remember that we are in the accounting view as opposed to the business view. You can toggle between the two views by going to the cog up top, switch the view down below. We're gonna duplicate some tabs to put reports in like we do every time. Right click the tab up top to duplicate it. As that's thinking, right click again, duplicate the tab again, back to the tab to the middle, reports on the left hand side opening up the balance sheet which is in the favorites changing the name or the the range 010125 to 123125 i would like to see this one by class even though we only have one class that we worked on in a prior presentation we turned on class tracking in a prior presentation and that gives us this breakout not too much detail from the balance sheet side although it might give us more detail in this practice problem on the balance sheet side next tab i'm going to open up the reports this time the profit and loss report and this time i'm just going to open it for the last few months from 07 0125 to 12 31 25 and run that by month so we can see what the last practice problem did and then i'll run that and there's our our income statement uh, by month of of transactions and we have this issue with the timing not exactly lining up on like a percentage of completion type uh, of system and that's what we want to be thinking about this time so what we're going to do this time is we'll create basically a, a system where we'll try to line that up let's first enter the estimate again so I'm going to go into uh, Excel and kind of think about how we might put this together from an estimate if we're putting a project together and then we'll go through a similar kind of process to, to tie all this together. So in an Excel worksheet, I'm going to format the Excel sheet by clicking here. Now, by the way, if you have this, this sheet, then it'll have an example tab, a practice tab, and a blank tab to help you work through it. And we'll just build it on the blank tab. If you don't have it, that's okay because we'll just build it from the blank tab anyways. So I'm going to right click on this tab and we will uh, format the cells. I'm going to make it currency bracketed and then I'm going to say no decimals. That's usually my starting point on the formatting. And then let's let's say we're going to make our estimates. So a job, let's say this is job two estimate that we might actually do in Excel. We might do this estimate in Excel so that we can then populate it into say QuickBooks, right? So I'm gonna say, all right, let's then say that we went through our estimate if it was a complex type of estimate, but we'll simplify it here and just say that our three buckets of, of expenses are usually gonna be materials and then the labor and then the overhead so let's say that of those of those items we think it's going to be forty thousand uh for the materials labor let's say it's thirty thousand that we think is going to be labor and then the overhead let's say we think is going to be 923 or something like that when we put our estimate together if i sum this up we're going to get to 76 let's say let's say this one this one's actually going to be 6000 6923 which sums up to 76923 so that'll be our total cost and then we're going to have the markup that I'm going to say is a 30% markup. So whatever the cost is, we're going to mark it up 30%. This is a general convention. You can, I mean, again, it would depend on what your billing structure is, but this is the, the concept that I'm going to be using here. So we'll mark it up 30%. And so we're going to say, this will be the markup percent. And then this will be the mar markup, markup amount which will be equal to the 76 uh, 923 times 30%. So now I'm going to say the total uh, charge estimate estimate is going to be equal to the cost plus the markup, which would be 100,000, which we're trying to get to that nice even 100,000. So that's going to be our kind of baseline starting numbers. I'm going to make this bracketed and 
And so, and this is going to be the bottom line. Now, once we have that estimate, we might tell the client, hey, look, we're going to bill you based on this estimate. So we might then say, okay, our billing structure, I'm going to make this a skinny column, will look something like this. The billing schedule for this job is going to be, I'll make this black and white, is going to be, I'll say month one, uh, and then month uh, two, month three, month four, and month five. And I'm just going to, I'm just making up the billing structure. And like, how would we make up the billing structure? We'd probably tie it to the materials we need if it was a construction type of contract. But, and we might have our first amount that I'm going to charge is just going to, I'm just going to say 10,000 because I'm going to assume we need 10,000 down to buy the stuff we need to start with this more longer term project. And month two, I'm going to say, we're not going to bill in month, month two, because that's when we'll start the project possibly, but we actually got the deposit in month one. So we got a kind of like a prepayment of it. And then in month three, I'm just going to make up a billing structure of 25,000. 30,000 in month four, 35,000 in month five for a total of 100,000. 